do hello everyone it's lisa welcome back to my channel don't forget to subscribe hit that button you know that bell because when you hit that bell it lets you know whenever i make a new video and follow me on instagram and twitter boom boom there it is the handles anyways we're gonna try on some new makeup today this is not my beautylish video it was supposed to be delivered today, um, but as we all know, the big Canada Post warehouse in Mississauga is, it's not shut down, but um, they are testing everybody for COVID because over 120 people have got tested. So prayers to everyone um, working at Canada Post. So I have five items right now that I should have had from Canada Post, but they're not even processed, girl. They're in a trailer somewhere, sitting there looking pretty, you know? I'm afraid to get my Beautylish box. Honestly, I'm afraid. I've seen some great boxes. All I got was the, well, all we can get here in Canada is the um, extra large box. I should have done this off camera because I'm wasting time. But anyway, all we can get here for Beautylish is the, not the extra large, is the regular box. You can't get the extra large box. And I've seen some great videos, and then I've seen some really crappy, crappy boxes. Oh, my God. And I'm afraid because it was like $130, girl, for that box, right? Anyway, we are going to be trying on the Lancome Mascara. Um, and this is a mission from Top Box Circle. So I'm going to be trying on the Lancome Mascara. And what have I got in here? Well, I got samples that I didn't order. <laughs> so the Laniche, what are you? Water sleeping mask, okay. And the Clinique um, Foundation, Beyond Perfection. Is this the new one they have out? You know, Clinique came out with this new foundation and there's like 40 shades and only two are for dark skin. Make that make sense, huh? Make that make sense, Clinique. Really? Really? 40 shades, all white. Figure that one out for me, because I, I I can't. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand that one. Yeah, I know. Um, everyone's a little bit pissed off about it. So, my little sample is this from Elia. And you know, guys, I don't like liquid lips, but they don't have much there to choose from at Sephora right now. Um, so, I chose this. It's pretty. And I'm thinking I'm going to stick this in an envelope for somebody. Because um, I didn't send out any Christmas cards. <laughs> I didn't send out any Christmas cards. I got the cards. I got the stamps. Just didn't send them out. So um, I'm going to send out a couple of envelopes to some people. So I'm thinking that's a very pretty color though, isn't it? I think I might stick that in an envelope for somebody. Somebody special. Um, you're all special. Everybody's special. But I only have a couple addresses. So, you know. And, oh, Lisa, you also got something else in that box. So I got that free because I spent 25 bucks, right? I got this. I got the Estee Lauder. I said it right, Estee Lauder. I got the Estee Lauder Moisturizing Makeup Foundation. And my shade is 2C1 Pure Beige. And I was really, like, going back and forth on what shade to choose for this. Here we go, Miss Estee Lauder. This is the first time I've ever bought an Estee Lauder foundation. I know everyone loves her double wear. Look, I got another one of these. Oh, no, from Laura Mercier. I really don't like when they put the foundation in this. This is not my jam right here. I don't like these samples. And I got this sample from Alpine Beauty. It's a Wild Huckleberry and 8 Acid Polishing Peel. Not the samples I chose, but <clears throat> they never send me the samples that... I was like, what did I order? What did I order in this box? Oh, now I get it, girl. Oh, and I chose this Caudalie um, Glow Activation Anti-Wrinkle Serum. Okay, I thought this was for oily skin, but I guess if it's... I literally thought this was the oily skin one. I was going to send it to somebody, but it's the Glow Activated. Okay, so I might be able to try this one. I love Caudalie. Y'all know them apples. So what I bought was I seen this blush on sale and I did two orders. I was smart, girl, because I'm like, sometimes if you order and you order right after kind of thing, they put it all in one box and you don't get so many samples or they might not throw in the extra freebie kind of thing. 
So I waited, even though I ordered both yesterday and it got delivered today, but I waited a few hours. Um, and then I ordered again. So I got this. This was on sale. It's the KVD. See, now this says Kat Von D. So I guess this is when it was Kat Von D, which I don't own anything from this brand, regardless if it was back when it was Kat Von D or now that it's KVD, Vegan Beauty, whatever it's called. But this is the blush. Look how gorgeous this is. It's 1850. I have never bought a blush for $18.50. Never. And that was on sale. Never, ever, ever have I done that. Ever. Uh, that's not true. I'm lying. I did it for Fenty Cream Blushes. I lied. Anyways, look how gorgeous that is. And I've seen it. And I'm like, that color, oh my gosh, is beautiful. There is another blush, too, that I really wanted to try. And I can't remember what she's called now. Uh, another one I was going to try. Cracker Jackers. I can't remember. I was looking in the sales part on Sephora to see if they had anything. Like, they don't have any liquid lipsticks, like, you know, in a shade that I like. Not liquid lipsticks. I don't even like liquid lipsticks. Bullet lipsticks and... In that sales part, I'm like, okay, can you take all of that stuff off that you've had for sale forever and put in new stuff? And I also got this, the Hourglass Mini Concealer. So this is new from Hourglass. It is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Um, so the mini is 20 bucks. I know, right? Look how tiny that is. But I did have some money left from the gift card, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab it. Um, I was going to get the, that Violet Boss eyeshadow palette, but I decided after I went, no, I'm not because I'm going to get the new Natasha Denona palette when that chummy digger comes out. Okay, so we're going to start the face, and I'm going to use the products I picked from Shop My Stash on Sunday. Don't forget, there will be a new Shop My Stash on Sunday. So if there's anything in regards to girl talk that you think that we should be discussing, girl, leave it down below, okay? I was actually thinking today... Um, I'm saving up because I want to get an, uh, I want to get a, I got to remember how to say it because you know I can't say it. There's some words I just find hard to say. El, um, el, elliptiker, no, el, el, elliptiker, elliptiker, el, elliptiker, I think that's how you say it, Ellip elliptic curve, right? L -l -ellip elliptic curve. Anyways, I don't know. I have a hard time saying some words sometimes. It's ridiculous. Um, I've always been that way. But is it, el is it an elliptic curve? Elliptical, elliptical, I said it, elliptical. I was looking it up earlier on Kijiji, and there's some used ones there for sale. So, yeah, anyway, back to the conversation on Sunday, girl. One of the conversations is the fact that I want to get an elliptiker. I was going to get a treadmill, but my husband's like, no, they're too noisy, and you should probably get an elliptiker. So I want to get one of those because, listen, let me tell you something, okay? I haven't seen my vagina since uh, before I gave birth to my first child, like legit, honest to God, I haven't, I haven't seen my vagina. Do you know how annoying it is to shave? I think that's sometimes why I don't even bother shaving half the time is because it's so hard to shave. Do you, know, you can't see it, you know, I got a big old belly and the boobs and stuff, girl. I have not seen my baju, my vagina, my Virginia. Oh my God, I'm probably going to get kicked off this show now because I said the V word. But I haven't seen it since 2007. So that's my goal. I, I need to see it. I need to I need to look at her. I need to see her. So that's my goal. I'm I'm not, I mean, <laughs> I was never a zero, okay, girlfriend. Never. Um that'll never happen because I would have to eat lettuce, you know, I'm only 4'11, right? So my goal is to at least be able to see my Virginia. So, okay, this is the sh what it looks like. Oh, I might have picked the right shade, girl. <gasps> I'm thinking, I'm thinking it could be the right shade for me. So this is the newest Estee Lauder um, foundation. And everybody loves the Estee Lauder 
Double Duty Foundation. Oh my God, it is perfect for my tone. I'm so happy. Um, I was I was so worried on how to pick my shade here. Anyway, I know everyone, you know, a lot, everybody, but the Double Duty, Double Wear, I think it is, the, the Esther Lade Double Wear Foundation is like an OG. Like a lot of people love that foundation. And I believe I read that Esther Lade was the first company to come out with like a lot of shades for everybody. Um, and she did it such a long time ago, you know, like way before anybody she you know made sure that it was for everyone you know what I mean like she's got a whole bunch of shades for you know light tone medium dark tones and I believe I heard that she was one of the first companies to do so and had it done so for a long time be like before Fenty but even though they came up like Esther Lade came out with a whole bunch of shades for years, no other makeup company did. You know what I mean? Um, so good for you, Esther Lade. Oh my God, this is my shade, girl. Oh, this is, is this ever, this is like one of the perfect matches I think I've ever done in my life. Seriously, like it is so good. And it's hard to see on the camera, but it's, it's perfect. It's just, she's just, she's beautiful, girl. What do we say about her? Futurist High Drop Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. It's got an SPF of 45 in here, but still wear your SPF. More than makeup, it rescues skin with soothing hydration and skin-loving details. Includes probiotic technology, chia seed extract, and ion-changed water, whatever that is. Okay, skin is plump with moisture and has an instant radiant glow. Full coverage, lightweight formula. Immediately covers visible redness, yay, and diffuses the look of imperfections and spots. Looks flawless and smooth, always color true or stays color true all day long wear. Well, well now, well, girl. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder did that. Thank you very much, Estee Lauder. I'm thinking this might be one of my new favorites, everybody. Um, I must say, it's giving myself a nice little glow, right? I mean, I know that the primer could have something to do with that, too, because it's Seraphine Botanicals and it's a glow primer, but I'm loving the way this looks on my skin right now. Loving it. Okay, so, Yahoo! And I only did one, like I literally only did one pump ah! and didn't go back for more. All right. So that's that. Um, my, I'm going to say good for dry skin. If you have oily skin, you want to go with the double wear. And again, the Estee Lauder double wear foundation is like an OG for a lot of people. Um, it's been for years. It's tried and true and tested. So if you have oily skin and you want to check out Estee Lauder, then I would check out um, the double wear one. But if you have dry skin or normal skin, check this out, girl. I'll let you know how much the price was in a second. Let me get on the Sephora app. Okay, so that was $57 for the Esther Lade Foundation. And there's a couple new ones out. Um, Huda Beauty's got a fake filter luminous matte foundation as soon as it says matte girl i'm out the window but clinique 33 shades like it's ridiculous 33 let me just show you look at that like there's no one darker you know in the like seriously that is freaking ridiculous that is that's awful that is so awful they sh you're fired you, girl, need to go join Donald Trump, wherever he may be right now. That's all I got to say about them apples. All right, so we're going to try this hourglass. I got the shade Silk, which I'm hoping is okay shade. I always find it hard to pick out concealer, too, you know, because sometimes fair works, and then sometimes I go for the light, right? Always hard to pick it out. So, oh, I don't know. I think she might be a little bit too dark. 
because I like to just use it to brighten up my under eye. Um, so I don't know how well this one is going to work, but... Oh, no, we got some brightness, don't we? It brightened it up, didn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much, Lee. Okay, so I do have to say about this foundation, I love the, the skin, like the color of it. It is perfect for my skin tone, but it feels, well, I guess it feels moisturizing. Maybe that's why I'm like, it feels moisturizing. Like there's some foundations that I put on my skin, it doesn't even feel like I have foundation on my skin. I can feel this on my skin, but I think it's because it's moisturizing that I can feel it on my skin. But I will say, um, is it showing? I can see it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like around my mouth, I can see that I have foundation on and I don't know if I really like that. So I guess I got to wait for it to oxidize a bit, um, you know, to really dry into my skin. But it's almost like around my mouth, I can, I can definitely see it. And I, mean, I don't know if it's because my skin is going through it because I'm using retinol or whatever. Um, but it almost looks dry. Like I can feel the moisture in it, but it looks dry like around my mouth. And I'm not sure if, is that my pores? I'm going to have to use this against my, say, Guerlain. I'm going to do a battle with this foundation against my Guerlain. And then I'll be able to really compare it against another high-end brand um, and see how well this is working. But I do like it. I like the way it looks. I like, I like the tone. The shade is perfect, but I don't like what's going on around my mouth. Not at all do I like what's going around my mouth. And like under my chin and I, I don't know maybe I should use it with a different primer so I don't know I'm still on the fence about it we'll see what it's like at the end of this video okay so I'm going to finish my bronzing off camera I put on my blush and then we'll, we'll, we'll go through the gigs while we're in this video we'll just we'll, we'll be back in a minute Okay, so we're back with some Little Miss Lolita Elf Bronzer is what I used. This one, and still, FYI guys, we still cannot get that camo foundation here in Canada. Try it again today. Nope, it comes right on it. When you go to try to go into your cart to try to pay, it comes up in red. Elf Camo CC Concealer or Foundation is not available in Canada. Hello, what's up with that? Anyways, we're going to be playing with this beautiful blush. And this is still on sale, as far as I know, at Sephora for $18.50. I'm assuming, is this a mini for a blush? It's called Lolita. So let's see how you be very pigmented. Like I'm doing little, light little strokes on, like barely touching my skin because it is, she is very pigmented, girl. Holy cow beautiful but man the pigment on her very pigmented oh, but it's so pretty okay look I mean look at that right the pigment I'm like I'm barely touching my face now I'm going in though because a lot of it's already on my face so I'm just trying to blend it up we gonna blend it up Right. Okay. All right. Okay, I am going to finish my eyes off camera and then we're gonna come in and we're going to um, put on a mascara. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so I use my Natasha Denona Star Palette. Um, so I have this here, goldish kind of a shade. This one is on my lid here and then I went in with the star I don't know what she's called but I'm assuming star it's probably not star what are you Cosmo it's either Cosmo or Orion I don't know this one right here and it's like a shifty kind of a thingy um, so I I put this one 
here like on my lid and then I put this like just a little bit on top of it so it's almost like an olive kind of green as you move or something but one of my favorite palettes um, from Natasha Denona is this one and her new palette oh my god I can't wait for the love mini and I heard it's not the same shades that's in the big 18 pan love palette so it's different shades um, that's what I heard, so I can't wait to get that. I think that comes out on February the 4th. Better leave it here. Um, and again, my Milani highlight. Girl, look at that. This highlight. Amazing. I've had this for like, I don't know, two years now. It's going to last you a lifetime. Okay, so we're going to try this mascara from Lancome. So, oh, and so that was my mission. But I also got, because um, this was a freebie on our Facebook page. I know um, they had sent me an email to sign up. I know I posted on our fo uh, Facebook page the link for it. And I think a couple of people, other posts as well, posted the link. And then there was a mission for the mascara. So, And we were all confused. Like, usually missions come in a black box with a card saying, hey, congratulations, you're on a mission. Right? This time, it didn't come in a black box saying, congratulations, you're on a mission. And if you got the one with the perfume inside of it, oh yeah, right. So if you got the one with the mascara and perfume, that was a sample that you signed up for, okay? If you got one just with the mascara, that's the mission. So, awesome. I got an extra one here. And we didn't know that this was going to be a mission when we signed up for the freebie. Just so you're aware, because I'm sure some people are like, you're, not, my, not you guys, but... Some people, if they've seen people getting two of the mascaras, probably like, oh my god, you're so greedy, why'd you get two? There, it wasn't even a mission, it was a sample that was shared on our page, um, and the mission was nowhere, you know, no one knew anything about a mission. So, let's smell this new perfume. Oh, she smells nice. So, this is um, Lancome Ideal, 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 La Intense. My French is terrible. Idole, Idole La Intense. So, yeah, okay, she smells good. Right, now I'm going to eat it. I'm going to swallow her. And this is the Lancome Idole, Idole, Lancome Lash Lifting Volumizing Mascara. So, this is new. I know it's available now at Sephora. Ooh, and it's got a curly wand. I love the wands with a curl on it. Love it. Um, so let's see how she goes. Now remember, when you first get a mascara, you really want to give it three or four tries before you go, okay, this sucks. Um, because sometimes the newness on a mascara, and it's so wet, that it's might come out too too thick on your lashes. So you really want to give your mascara at least three tries before you decide if it's not that great or not, right? Which I've been discovering because I have some ma mascaras that I tried once and went, oh, I don't know, not really into it. And now that I'm doing Shop My Stash, like the two Tarte ones I had, the two Tarte Minis, now that I'm doing Shop My Stash, loving those mascaras, but I had to try it at least three times to, um, you know, have it not so new-like. But I like this freaking mascara, though. I can tell already that I like this mascara. Oh, girl. Yes. I love a mascara. It's got a curl on it. Oh, my Lanta. So, ColourPop's having 25% off their site today, okay? Start at 1 o'clock. 10 after 1, I was in their website. Throwing things in my cart, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'll put what I'd like to have in my cart, and then... When I'm done going through everything, I'll go through my cart and, you know, take out more than half of it because I can't afford all that. You know what I mean? Um, so I was doing that. And then when I go to get ready to cash out, everything in my cart, like um, the wine in and dine only or something, that palette gone. The um, Trey Moore Menage Trois. Is that what it's called? Menage Trois? That palette was sold out. Like, half the things I had in my cart was sold out. So I didn't get anything. Because I really wanted that Wine and Dine palette. 
I don't know what it's called. I just know it's wine something. I really wanted that one. And I really wanted the menage, tray menage, tray menage, whatever that one was called. I really wanted that one. Um, and I really wanted Wild Child. That was still available. But, you know, you got to spend $60 to get free shipping, right? So I was like, okay, I'll do it. I'll spend the 60 But, like... Just about everything I wanted was sold out. By the time I got to my cart, it was all sold out. And I'm like, you dirty little bugger. Colourpop needs to come out with more bronzers. Um, they always come out with like a blush. But they need to come out with more bronzers. And I'm not, you know, into the super shock stuff. Um, I just, I had them and I found that they just, for me... I don't know, I never wore them, so. But I do like this mascara. Not bad, right? I like you. Okay. So the foundation, now that it's oxidized a bit, I, I mean, it looks skin-like now. Even down around my chin, where I didn't like the way it was looking, that's gone. Because as I was looking at my face, it seemed like every crack and crinkle I had in my face when I first like five minutes after I put it on, seem like I can see every crack and crinkle, but now I can't. So that's not happening any, anymore. But I do really, uh, yeah, I like this foundation. I do, I think it's gotta oxidize. You gotta let it oxidize, um, cause now it just looks, looks like there's nothing on my skin. And I don't feel it anymore. So it's oxidized into my skin now, you know what I mean? But my face feels gorgeous. It's not itchy, nothing like that. Even the concealer, I really like the concealer. I thought maybe I should get a lighter shade, but I mean, this is working, right? It's working. It brightened up my other under eyes, so that's cool. I love the mascara, and this blush, girl, this blush is divine. The color of this blush, I'm like really into dark colors now. Hold on. Camera was booting me off, but yeah, this blush is gorgeous, $18.50, it's on sale, on sale, and it's still available at Sephora. I just want to say, um, I think I am still going to do a battle of the brand, most likely tomorrow, because nothing is coming through the post. I mean, I don't know, you know, how long it's going to take for them to get through the trailers, because everyone's getting tested, and if people are positive, they got to stay home, so... It's going to be a while if you're expecting something. It's going to be a while. If it's stuck at Mississauga, girl, it's going to be a while. So I'm thinking I might do a battle of the brand with this foundation. Um, so this is around $57. My Guerlain one, the Perore or the La Essential, that's about $67. Um, so I'm not sure which one I should do a battle with it on. Should I do this and... Um, the It Cosmetics one, maybe, or the Shiseido. Let me know. Should I, yeah, because this says skincare with it, too. So maybe I'll do a battle tomorrow between It Cosmetics, It's Your Skin But Better, plus skincare, and the Ester Lade Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup, because they both claim they have skincare in it. So maybe I'll do a battle on these two tomorrow and see which ones I like better. That's it, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely day. Don't forget, I will be live this Saturday, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And Sunday, shop my stash. Can't wait. Bye. Happy Thursday. Love you.